Thank you for logging in. Uh, today we're going to look at circles and the equation. I've got some quadratic curves here just to remind us about transformation of graphs. Uh, the first is y equals x squared which is the basic quadratic. The second has been raised by 1 so that becomes x squared plus 1. And the third has been dropped down uh, by 1 so that becomes y equals x squared minus 1. You'll notice that the, uh, on the fourth diagram on the right hand side uh, that the first graph has been moved along the x-axis to x equals minus 2. So that equation now becomes x plus 2 squared. So it's brackets x plus 2 squared. And similarly, the, the last um, diagram has been moved uh, over to 3. So that becomes y equals x minus 3 bracket squared. And it's quite important that we have an understanding of this because this will help us with our, our circle work. Here I have a uh, circle OA, OB and OC are the radius of the circle and the general equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And on the next slide I'll show you how we derive this. You can see here that the circle, the origin, has been moved from 0, 0 uh, to 2, 0. So again, from the quadratic slide, uh, that becomes brackets x minus 2 bracket squared. Since the y hasn't changed, it just becomes plus y squared. And then remember, the radius is radius squared. On the next diagram, the, radi uh, the center of the circle has been moved to 3, 2. So we just take those values, insert them into the uh, brackets, but we change the value so it becomes x minus 3 bracket squared plus y minus 2 bracket squared. The derivation of the uh, circle equation, we can arrive uh, by Pythagoras, and I'll show you that now. On this diagram here, I will use Pythagoras, and you can see that we have a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse, which is CP, is the length R, and using Pythagoras, that will be R squared, will be equal to the length of the other two sides squared. And that's the sum by adding together. So on the horizontal, that distance is x minus a. So squaring that would be brackets x minus a bracket squared. And similarly, the vertical length, which is given by y minus b, again, we just square that. So no matter what the origin and the radius uh, of the circle, this is the equation of the circle that we use. I would advise you to pause here and uh, try these out, and then I've got the answers written here. The center is 0, 0, and I've deliberately used x minus 0 squared. Uh, but actually, as you know, that's just the same as x squared plus y squared. And if you can remember this discipline, you'll find that all of these questions are really quite straightforward. Please remember to square the radius. That's the mistake that a lot of students make, where they don't actually square that. Question F is slightly different in that the radius is 2 root 3. And in order to do this, we'll revisit your third work that you would have done earlier. 2 root 3 squared is actually the same as uh, 4 times 3, which is your 12. We need to recap our knowledge on completing the square. As you can see, x plus 3 bracket squared is x squared plus 6x plus 9. And if we take x squared minus 5x plus 4, uh, we can complete the square. The rule is, open the bracket, put the x value in, make sure that the x is singular, i.e. in front of the x squared is just a 1. Take the middle term, which in this case is minus, 
and then halve it, which becomes 5 over 2. You'll notice that if you were to expand that, that would have actually grown by 5, uh, five over 2 bracket squared. So we need to reduce it by 25 over 4. We can now tidy this up. And it's the same as x minus 5 over 2 squared. And that's take away 9 over 4. In the next line, we'll take that over to the, the right hand side and then we'll square with both sides. So again, that'll be x minus 5 over 2. And that you equals your 9 over 4. Remember that when you square root both sides, that you will have two solutions on the right hand side. So it'll be x minus 5 over 2 equals plus or minus square root in both, which is 3 over 2. Now setting the number work up, that will just simply be x plus or minus 3 over 2, add 5 over 2. And from here, we'll be able to derive both solutions, which is just simply 3 add 5 over 2, which will give you 4. The second solution we get by x equals minus 3 add 5 over 2, which gives us x equals 1. We can test this if we go back to the original and this can be factorized. Two numbers were multiplied together to give you 4, but with the difference of 5 would be 1 and 4. In order to get a positive 4 but a negative 5, it would be minus 4 and minus 1. which would then give us the roots x equals 4 and x equals 1. So this is just a simple recap uh, of completing the square. The following slide uh, is to test your knowledge on what we've learned today. I will strongly advise you to pause the slide and just attempt question by question. If you look at this one here, there's no value for given for x, so the center will be 0, half of the 4 is 2, so that will be 0, 2. Here, half the x is negative 1, and the y is negative 5, so the opposite would apply. And again, the more you do of these type of questions, after a while it just becomes very instinctive. I hope you found this podcast useful. There will be two other podcasts on circles. Thank you very much.